Absolutely, they should do it. Pedicures especially. Okay, the experts yeah. speaking here, nutritional uh, medicine expert Lorna Vanderek joining us. Uh, always great tips you have for us. And uh, as we get set for 2014, uh, we're talking about weight loss. If you're looking for sustainable change in your life, you've got five tips uh, to get us going. And uh, when we talk about nutrition, meals, uh, the focus on protein, tell us about uh, the right. approach. Yeah, we've got to be focused on protein because if you switched your breakfast to solely protein, so stop the cereal and the skim milk and the toast and you went straight to protein, that will jump start your fat burning furnace by 25% and it will stay like that for five hours so that means you're burning fat faster because you simply ate protein and you know if you don't like eggs chicken breast protein shakes those kind of things um, one of the proteins I use is pumpkin protein because it's an organic certified organic protein it has no taste it's mm. green that's the only thing and I throw it in my yogurt in the morning and that gives me like extra protein for the day no that's interesting with the approach what about portion size I hear so many differing perspectives on how much you should actually be eating at each sitting. Well, if we took the side plate, that's really what we should be putting our protein on and uh, maybe a little bit of starch, little tiny bit. But then you want to have a lot of vegetables. So you want to have a lot of green vegetables and you can have as many of those as you like. So get a giant bowl and fill it to the top with veggies and mm -hmm. you'll never feel hungry. And that Ziploc freezer bag full of, you know, raw veggies that you make up every morning, you're going to carry that with you every day. It's going to be your lifeline just keeping that weight off. And that's a good thing to snack on. And when we talk yeah. about food choice, is you're saying with the white foods, we hear this time and time again, move away from those and make uh, more informed choices, yeah? Well, don't even buy them. Don't buy white rice, white flour, white pasta, white bread, white sugar. Don't buy them. You know, white potatoes. Buy the other things, you know, the whole grains, the yams and the sweet potatoes instead of the white potatoes. Like, switch things over. And in my book, A Smart Woman's Guide to Weight Loss, which is also for guys too, it's really simple because none of us are really going to last on those diets. They, we just don't. So we have to learn how to adopt these things every day. Small changes you mentioned. In the uh, the Ziploc bag full of veggies. What would you say are the best veggies for the nutrients and achieving the the ultimate goal of weight loss? Well, the darker the color, the more nutrients in the vegetable. So you know, kale's getting a lot of attention because it's dark, dark colored. Well, broccoli and the only white food you're allowed to eat is cauliflower because it's in the cruciferous fan family and it's good for you. Yeah. So throw those cauliflower bits and the broccoli bits and the you know the carrots and the sugar snap peas and the celery in that bag and eat it all day long. Take it in your car to the office you're never going to feel hungry okay now uh, nutrition is one thing but the idea of getting the body moving another uh, exercise how much per day and what time is best well the best thing to do is first thing in the morning especially if you are someone who has insomnia do not exercise after lunch if you're if you have insomnia at night because that raises your nighttime cortisol and then you're really in trouble because you're waking up at three o'clock with the bang I'm wide awake yeah. so you want that 10 minutes in the morning before you go to work and just set your alarm clock 10 minutes early get your a little weight tree and use those. What do you think about the people that uh, spend an hour or more in the gym per day? Is 10 minutes enough to achieve the ultimate goal of weight loss if we're focusing on nutrition? Well, I don't know. I watch some of the people at the gym and they're standing around a lot. So they do a few reps here and then they go and they stand, they drink their water, wipe off the sheen. That's not how I do the gym. I go in there, I've got 20 minutes tops and I go bang, bang, bang to the machines and get out of there. Right now you have to wait though because it's so crowded. In three weeks, all those people who are trying to get fit are going to be gone yeah. and then you'll be able to go back to your routine but that's sad because we need to learn how to adopt this every day yeah and the big thing is the sustainable aspect of it uh, a couple notes on final uh, uh, supplements that are right. suggestions for people right well we need to take the supplements that work because there's a lot of hype around weight loss supplements and so health canada has approved only a few health health uh, supplements, weight loss supplements for that really work and one of them is CLA and it's a fat that burns fat. You have to take 5,000 8,000 milligrams or it doesn't work and the other one that busts belly fat is Carocetol and they've got 20 studies um, using this ingredient that actually works to burn fat. That's the belly blaster right That's there. That's the belly blaster and actually works and you know my, my trick is to have one of those every time you have a glass of wine because that's where the fat really goes to the belly. Very interesting stuff. HormoneHelp.com is the website. Lorna, thanks as always for coming on and sharing the wisdom. Uh, Going to take a break. We'll talk about uh, travel. Do you plan on traveling anytime soon? There's uh, Lorna's book as well. Oh, we got the giveaway. Yeah, we're giving away a weight we're loss kit with oh, the book. Bonus. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So all of these things right here on the table. All these things together, yep. Oh, nice. Well, yeah, thank you. Great. Holiday's over. She's still giving. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Contest at btvancouver.ca and hormonehelp.com. Again, the website.